In this exercise, we are going to use the sample MEP project located in your common folder. If you have previously opened this file, go to your application button and click on sample MEP project. Here I'm going to scroll down in my project browser and open up level 2 HVAC plan. Scroll in to the north area of the plan. And here you can see my layout. To select an object, simply click on it. Here I've selected a return diffuser. It tells me on the options bar the flow. If I clear the selection just by selecting somewhere else in the drawing area. Here I have a supply diffuser. Note that when I hover over an object, the tooltip tells me what that object is. So there's a supply diffuser. On the options bar, it tells me that we have a flow of 110 litres a second. And in the properties palette, we're located on level 2 with an offset of 2450. There's the flow again. So if we change the flow at this point in the properties palette, it's also changed in the options bar. But what happens if I want to do this for all of the supply diffusers? Well, I can do a selection window. And a selection window is done in exactly the same way as other CAD programs, by clicking and dragging from left to right and using a filter. If I click on filter here, I can uncheck everything apart from the air terminals. Click on OK, and I now have three air terminals selected, and I can change their properties. If I select a duct, the options bar tells us the width, the height, and its offset. The properties palette gives me the type and the other properties associated with that duct.